Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back here. This is the last part of the high-waisted, wide-leg, pleated trouser project. This is an easy step-by-step -step tutorial, but if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. Now that we have got all our pieces, let's start with folding our pleats and closing our back darts. After sewing the pleats, top stitch about one and a half inch down. I forgot to do mine here so don't make the same mistake, but if you prefer it that way, then just leave it like that. Now add an interfacing on your fly shield and facing, then fold the fly shield right sides together and sew the bottom. Now overlock the seams as well as the crotch seam of the front leg. But if you don't have a serger, you can use the zigzag stitch of your regular machine. About half of an inch to the end of the zipper, open that folded seam.
To attach the pocket, place the slant side of the pocket to the side of the pants facing right sides together. Make sure to try it first if it fits perfectly before attaching the waistband. Now to make the waistband, add the fly shield measurement to your waistline as well as the 3 inches front overlap or measure the entire waist and add the 3 inches. Then cut the fabric that long by 4 inches wide. Place the waistband right side to the right side of the pants and pin all over leaving the half of an inch seam allowance. To finish the edges of the underlap, fold the waistband right size and carefully close that half of an inch seam allowance without stitching that side of the pant. Now we're going to do the same on the overlap, so that half of an inch allowance and stop on the corner, then pivot your waistband and continue up to the end of your last stitch.
and to finish the waistband we're going to stitch in the ditch so basically stitch right in between the waistband seam your needle goes through the seam on the top while securing the other side of the waistband this will give your pant a more polished look Now all we need to do is to attach a closure and sew the hemline and we are done!